She also said that her whole life, she has always had a boyfriend and kind of regrets not ever experiencing the single life. Wow. What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's feeling good. Hope everybody's doing well. We are back with another story post. Guys, I'll put this up on the screen if you want to check it out. But you guys read the title? Let's just get into it. So, Reddit Relationship Advice. Me, male 27, otherwise prude, innocent, and oblivious girlfriend, female 26, of three years, suggested an open relationship as the title says i was surprised and heartbroken when she dropped the news we always try to communicate as honest and open as possible she said she'd only be okay with it if i was also i suggested her we should break up but she 100% refuses to because she said I am much more important to her than any other experience she could make. Her justification was that our relationship feels like it's on hold and doesn't progress. We are both university students and she wants, wants to move in together. However, I am financially not as well off as her. I'd like to work full time before moving out. She also knows that I'm going to get my master's degree within less than nine months. She also said that her whole life, she has always had a boyfriend and kind of regrets not ever experiencing the single life. Wow. As the title suggests, girlfriend is very prude, doesn't have much of a sex drive to begin with, was asking me this. Just to make it extra clear, she's the type of person to ask others if they want to smash but referring to Smash Bros unironically. To her defense though, we don't speak English natively, but still, she doesn't understand why I'm so hurt and consider breaking up over a simple question. A few days have passed now, and I feel really uncertain about our relationship. She wants me to take her word for it when she says that I'm more important to her. You're right. Don't fall for that, man. He has some updates here. Update one, I've talked to her today and took in most of the feedback here. She was very speechless and started crying. She wished to turn back the time and never had asked me the question because she didn't think it was that much of a big deal. Not even a single thing said in this comment section crossed her mind when she suggested opening it. For her, it was just a fun little thing she saw in one of the series she's watching and thought it was a fun idea while we're young and don't have any obligations. She now understands where I'm coming from and feels very sorry. Not sure what to make of it though. I think it's just over now. It is over. Update number two. We had another long talk. Apparently when girlfriend said opening up a relationship, she didn't mean any of us can do whatever we want. She still considers me getting it in with another woman or her with another man as cheating. Okay, she is lying now. <laughs> she thought of it more as getting a third person involved with our relationship. Something like a three-way, she said. I'm even more confused now. To be honest, she's pretty effing stupid when it comes to sex terminology. But then again, the whole prelude about regretting not having more experience while single still stands in the room. Thank you. That's exactly what I was thinking about. Let me give my thoughts. She is full of it. She's lying right now. Reading these updates, I'm like, hold on. But she said, I didn't have enough fun when I was single and I didn't get out there. She clearly wants to go bang some other guys. It's very, very obvious. Very obvious. Oh, man. I, I looked in his uh, history. This is the only post he had. He posted this 12 days ago. Um, I'm waiting. I'm, I want to see an update, a third update that says, yeah, I dumped her because I don't believe her because you should not believe her, man, at all. She's lying. 
But let's go to the comments. He may be in the comments. Take my words with a grain of salt since I have only your post to go off of. But I think you need to break up. I am sure she loves you, but she is also stuck in a place between childhood and adulthood. And she isn't going to move forward with you in the picture. The open relationship is a terrible idea, but she thinks she can progress as an adult without losing a person she loves. I don't think she is correct. Here's OP. This is strangely very accurate. I think she's simply not mature enough and we aren't at the same wavelength anymore. I think the reason she stays with me is because of the loneliness. Not that she's in love with me. See, so since you know all this, you know all this, sir, you got to move on and break up with her. You have to. The problem you face is that once the question has been asked, the whole dynamic of the relationship changes in that instant and it will never be the same again. Absolutely. She's already said she wants to experience the single life. Break up and let her go, bro. Just give her what she wants already to be hopelessly single. This one seems pretty cut and dry. Unfortunately, she wants to break up and see other people without losing you or your support. Yep. Translation. She found someone that she wants to get it in with and is offering an open relationship so that she can get it in with him without being considered a cheater. Then, of course, she will come back to the reliable relationship. Until the next time, of course. If you're not okay with that, then break up. Someone said, bingo. She wants her cake and eat it too. Never make a relationship better by bringing a third person in. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. She's a liar, dude. Get rid of her. Get rid of her. I'm going to stick on this one. I'm hoping that you update us. This is uh, 12 days old. I hope you update us on this and tell us that you broke up with her. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. I will catch you guys at the next one. It's about you don't take them back. What up, True? I've been a listener for a couple of years, and I have been telling myself to send you my story. It's a long one, so that's why I've been putting it off. So as you say, let's get into it. Let's go back 30 years so the rest of the story makes sense. I was young and something of a ladies man. I ran through women like nothing. My friends and I get a running tally on who had the most. I had seen multiple women at a time even if they thought we were exclusive. One night I met my ex. She was some kind of beautiful. We dated for a couple of years but I kept my side hustle just not as many as before. One night she caught me with another girl and we broke up. For the first time in my life I missed someone. A couple of months go by and she calls. We work things out and it was all good. I never cheated on her again. A few months later, I buy a ring and a year later, we are married. The first year is great and then it happened. I caught her seeing one of my friends. I was devastated. I kept thinking it was karma for what I had done to her and so many others. I had finally been served justice. I just couldn't leave her. She gave the typical cheater sorries and excuses. We worked it out and things got better. From that moment on, tried to control everything so it wouldn't happen again. I put in place several safeguards so I would know if she ever slipped up. At first I checked them several times a day, then daily, and finally weekly. It never got less frequent than weekly for 15 years. I checked my safeguards weekly. A couple of years later we had a son, another couple and another one, and finally another couple more years and yet another one. Things were good. I had a good job. We spent a lot of family time together, took vacations and enjoyed our children and life. And then one day as I did my weekly detective work, boom, a little blip. Nothing major, just some flirting. Now let me add that as technology improved through the years, so did my safeguards. The strangest thing was my... My emotion was joy. I went back to daily tracking and about two months later, my wife, my one true love, was sleeping with another man again. I had all the evidence I needed. I just needed a plan. I kept my head and acted normal. A few weeks later, we were watching a show on TV where the wife had cheated and I seen my chance. I started going off on how could a wife and mother do that to her family. She didn't just cheat on her husband, but her whole family. After 10 years, she caved. 
She started crying and told me everything. She wanted to be with him. She was so sorry for hurting me. After a long tearful night by both of us, we worked out some details. I made her tell our kids what she had done. We had to live together for a couple of months till she had an apartment. I was sick and lost 30 pounds. The initial joy I felt wore off and I was heartbroken. The first night she was gone, I let the kids stay with her. All alone in a big house. I've never been so sad. I filed for divorce the next day. I don't know her reasoning, but she didn't try to screw me one bit. I got the house. No alimony. We split the kids evenly, every few days, and no child support either way. The kids were not happy with their mom, but I never bashed her. As time went along, they stayed with me more and more until finally they, they lived here full time. They still saw their mother regularly, just, just always came home after. Six months go by and I started dating again. And just like when I was young, I had no problem getting women. But I had learned my lesson and didn't treat any anyone bad and let everyone know I didn't want anything serious. A year later, I met my now wife. I knew from the first date where this was headed. I tried to fight it because I thought I, I thought I should stay single and live it up for a while. But there was no denying what was between Six months later, we were engaged and married after another six months. The kids love her. The kids love her and her kids and mine love each other. It's amazing how I went from so low to extreme happiness so quickly. God led me to her. We recently celebrated our 10 year anniversary. Life is so great when you completely trust your spouse and don't have to check up on them. We had a decent life, but why go through life checking up on her? I'm sure my controlling ways was hard for her to deal with. I accept my responsibility, but there never is an excuse for cheating. I have three wonderful kids that I love with all my heart. All I can say is a smart man will believe after the first time a woman cheats and never look back. I promise a good woman won't cheat. And cheating is not a mistake, but a selfish choice. True, I appreciate what you do. Wow, let me give my thoughts. As I always say, and this goes for anybody men women anybody if someone disrespects you that much where they cheat on you you have to end the relationship you're never going to forget what they did which in return you really truly aren't going to ever forgive them because you're never going to trust them they're going to hate that you're monitoring them and questioning them all the time. They have to be reminded of this, what they like to call a mistake they made years ago or months ago, whenever it happened. The relationship is never the same, ever. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And I, I would say it to her when, when, you, when, you, when you cheated. When you cheat, I would say it to a person when you cheated on somebody, if they took you back, that's, that's stupid. They'll never forgive you and they'll never forget. And you'll never respect them for taking you back. Vice versa. You guys got to understand that. If you're going to do this relationship stuff, if you're going to get into relationships and get married and all that stuff, if someone disrespects you that much, it's over. It's over. It's never going to work. Guys, let me know what you think about this in, in the comments. And what do you think? Do you think a person can go through infidelity? A couple can go through infidelity and move on and it never happen again? Let me know in the comments. If you're new here, I'm going to go ahead and attach a flashback story. With that being said, I'll catch you guys at the next one. Ex-girlfriend wants me back in her life after she's been having meaningless hookups. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Hi, True. I have been watching your video since the lockdown started, and I love what you're doing with your channel. Intro. Anyway, I'm a 24-year-old male. Met this 24-year-old female Dominican girl three years ago, July 2018. I own businesses all over New York City. We first met in one of my stores. She approached me and was asking for my number, so I gave it to her, and we hit it off. We talked over the phone for about a week. 
then took her out to dinner at a well-known fancy restaurant. After we went out, we kissed after dinner, then took her home. There were a whole bunch of red flags that I ignored while I was asking her about her past that she has cheated on her ex before. Oh, yep, that's a huge one. Then one night while we were talking on FaceTime, she was at her girlfriend's house. Then she showed me her girlfriend's hand on her private parts, then hung up. I never contacted her again. She, she tried contacting me, but I ignored it. She started coming to my store to see me and love bomb me with gifts and clothes to get me to talk to her. That's before we had sex. That was a really big red flag that set me off. She was the first girl that I, that I have had a full blown relationship with. Other women I have met were only friends with benefits. Anyhow, I gave in to her love bombing and forgot about what she had done and moved past it. We hooked up and she started asking me to go in raw, which set off more red flags as I have never had raw sex with anyone before. She showed me her STD results and she was clean. I agreed, but not today. We had a really good relationship from August of 2018 to the beginning of 2020, where our relationship quickly deteriorated as I am a busy man with college and work full time. I didn't notice the red flags. Friends that I have only met a handful of times started to be around her and I ended it between us and, and went full no contact. I was heartbroken because I loved her as because she was the first one I let into my life fully. That's when I started watching your videos. I was heartbroken. I broke up with her because I suspected cheating, but never got the truth from her. I fell into a deep depression, but I kept letting her come back to me as off and on thing. I told her I'm about to get married into a, an arranged marriage to a beautiful virgin girl, and I ended it. One day she calls me up crying and saying that she got into a fight with her family, and the police came and arrested her. Because I am a good loyal man, I helped her with setting up her apartment and I paid $4,000, one regret. And we got back together, but she was having her sex on the side with other men. I suspected it again and she would never admit it. The lies hurt more than the truth. So I cut my losses and I moved on. I put myself out there and I had a few hookups with my ex and a massage therapist. Then she contacted me after months asking me to take her back admitting that she did cheat on me while I was helping her move out of her mother's house and being lovey-dovey with me. Wow, you spent that $4,000 on her and she was cheating on you. I said, no, I want nothing to do with you. I shouldn't even answer the phone, but I did. I hooked up with her two times and told her I can't do this anymore. I can't do it to myself. I was asking her to not contact me again and I blocked her number. I wake up today to 20 calls from a blocked number and calls from the other numbers because I blocked her. I believe I dodged a bullet and now I'll marry a virgin too. Please keep my info classified with love. G. Wow. Let me get my thoughts. Dang, man. Well, first I'm going to say I'm glad you eventually just let her go and went and went no contact because she clearly is a user bro she clearly is just using you oh you four thousand dollars for her apartment and in new york new york's expensive from what i know you know new york and california places like that new york is very expensive so you're spending a lot of money to help her move Ugh, man that's ridiculous but you said you had a an arranged arranged marriage being set up so okay so you did you told her that when she was trying to come back and you you ended up started messing with her again so you messed around with her some more i guess waiting until this marriage came about man you should have just you should have just left her alone dude she's just a user but i mean I'm, i know you've learned your lesson so i'm not here to be like oh you should have you should have you know but um it would have been good to you know leave her alone before all that you know you're gonna get get married forget her she's a time waster and if she's jumping around sleeping with everybody you know you you don't want to put yourself at risk of catching something you know and then you what you get married and give it give something to your virgin virgin wife you know like come on that's just a huge mess and a lot of crap you don't want to deal with but i'm glad you made it out and you're you're looking to the future 
Um, I'm sorry you had to go through depression and all that stuff. I mean, I know that stuff. I'm, I'm hoping you picked yourself up. You know, you didn't go to a bottle or drugs or anything like that, man. Don't do that. You're better than that. Know that you're better than that. And know that she was just a piece of crap who wants to destroy you. That's all she wants to do. She's going to keep trying to come back because she needs to destroy you. She can't comfortably move on without you being destroyed. Keep that in your mind. If you keep that in your mind, you will stay away from her. You will not let her come into your life and destroy anything you got going. Salute to you, man. Thanks for sending in this email. Guys, let me know what you think about this email. Let him know how you feel about his story. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments.